guys, St. Kristen here at the Pasadena Playhouse. We're about to see Cinderella from the Lithgow family panto. We're so excited because the star is Lauren Taylor from Best Friends Whenever. We're about to go talk to her backstage before the performance and see how she's feeling and what we can look forward to. So exciting. How do you feel right before the show? Uh, I'm very excited, also slightly nervous, but <laughs> <Yeah>. still thrilled. <laughs> now your makeup is done. You're still going to get your hair done. Yes, it is not done. I will not look like this. <laughs> Tell us about your outfit and just what you're going to look like on stage? Uh, well, the rags aren't super exciting, but the ball gown was actually um, specially made, which is super fun. It was, you know, made to fit me, so it looks pretty good, I yeah. think. <laughs> and it's a gorgeous dress, absolutely stunning. You've been on Best Friends Whenever for a while, but what is it like switching roles into Cinderella? It's such a different character for you. Oh, it's such a different character. I mean, I do think that Cinderella and Shelby have a lot of similarities, of course, because they're both really nice people. <laughs> but um, switching um, from television to theater is actually super, super exciting because it's it's such a different ball game and it's such a different thing that it's it's so nice to really, you know, switch it up after doing, you know, one role for so long. It's so nice to do something new. And you get to interact with the audience, which is one of the best things about Panto plays. What's your favorite part about that? Just the energy, the reciprocal energy that the cast gives and then the audience gives back is just such a, a, a fun and, and new idea. It's something that not a lot of theaters in, in the States do. So it's uh, such a fun experience for both us and the audience. What's your favorite part about the Cinderella story? I love uh, her motto, which is have courage and be kind. It's something that everybody can do a little more of, I think. <laughs> both. I believe in everything that she stands for, and I think she's a really, really, really great princess to look up to. Are you sing in this play? Is singing something that you're going to start doing more of? Can we look forward to that? It's something that I'm definitely working on, and uh, I can't give any dates or any updates or information, but it's something that is in the works. We can stay tuned. Yes, stay tuned. <laughs> is there anything that you love to do before the show, like a certain snack you like to have, or a person you talk to, or like aerobic exercise? <laughs> you know what? I love tea, and one thing that Alex taught me was to warm up your voice on the way to work. In your car, you just wail and you just sing as loud as you can and as much as you can and then when you get there you rest it and you drink tea. And Alex Newell is the best singer that I've ever heard in my life, so I've been doing that. <laughs> Even though it's cold and rainy, it didn't keep alum Chrissy Fit from coming to support the cast. Let's see what she thinks about the performance so far. Chrissy, it was just a year ago that you were on the stage as Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. What is it like now sitting in the audience? It's amazing. It's a little nostalgic too. When I walked through the doors, I was like, oh, wait, I, where are my wings? Where's my glitter? Um, but it's also, it's it's wonderful to see so much talent on stage. The music, the singing, the comedy. It's Cinderella at the Pasadena Playhouse. is just really incredible. So much talent. It's awesome. What was it like for you going from being on camera to going on stage? Like, what is it like for them? What is it like for you? What is that feeling? It's really, really different. Um, I hadn't done a, a play in like 10 years. So it was uh, kind of cool to be able to like go back and kind of where it all started uh, it, it's way different you have to like really play it up you have to play to the last person in the last row all the way in the top of the balcony so everything is a lot bigger and and um, especially when you're doing panto kind of have to play it up a little bit more but it was a great exercise and also like endurance like we had <laughs> nine shows a week like that is a lot so yeah it was really fun what was it like for you backstage before going on? What do you think Lauren's going through right now? Oh, I was so nervous. I, I th this was me. <laughs> like, like, I, like, I was like uh, an old 80 year old man uh, <laughs> backstage. Um, you get really nervous, but then the minute that you get out there and you see the crowd, it just all goes away and you just have a good time on stage. And she's doing an incredible, so, like, you know, charming. It's weird because yeah. Prince charming, yeah. but they're both very charming. Yeah. Uh, individuals are doing such an amazing job. And what's one of your favorite songs so far? Oh, you know, that's kind of hard. Uh, I really love the Seb Sisters song. Um, my name is, no, my name, yeah, it's so good. And then the Royals song that um, Buttons and yeah. Cinderella, that was really cool. The staging was really fun. And that's the cool thing about these panto performances with the Lithgows is they integrate modern songs into the play. Yeah, which is which is fantastic. You see, right away you're like, you're in the story that's a classic that you know, and then all of a sudden it's like a song that you hear on the radio, and you're yeah. like, 
That's my jam. <laughs> and Cinderella singing it, <laughs> which is cool. Yeah. What a wonderful Cinderella performance. We hope you can all come if you're in the area near the Fast Dinner Playhouse. And be sure to go to justinemagazine.com for more. Happy holidays.